in the orbit of WWE, all of the personnel that comes through, everybody that wants to touch, that wants to be uh, the biggest, the best, or whatever, um, sometimes a lot of these things, you know, they don't pan out the way that some would want them to. Um, in your case, you know, you're talking about how many years you, you have? How uh, many years you have in there? It's been a lot. I started in 2002. And the beginning of it, what I found like to be crazy was you coming in on the, um, you know, you kind of had to earn your stripes for lack of a better word, right? Your comfort in that space, it wasn't immediate with those guys. WWE, they, they run all the time, but I think that's kind of where we might have, and I'm thinking for you at this point, but I think that's kind of where we might have found common ground. Um, when, when was the first time you hit the stage as a stand-up? What was first the first time, the time you hit the stage? 2000 and, no, 1998. And that was in the space of Amateur Night uh, and me just falling in love with Amateur Night and competitions, small stage. But from 98 to 99 um, was where I was just performing on things, right? Like whether it was a stage, whether it was a cabaret, whether it was a lounge, um, we had to create our environments. They weren't, they weren't all set up for comedy. They weren't all like entertainment-like environments. But it's a nonstop grind. Yeah, yeah. And you're always on stage and it's yeah. a different city every night and you're hustling and I went through the same thing. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing and uh, the business has changed so much since I started. For the better or the worse? I think some, I think a whole lot better. I, and, and I'm just, again, I'm thinking for you, I bet your comedy's changed since 98. Absolutely. Until now. Absolutely. I bet you a lot of it's changed. I mean, the times, the times have changed, which in return have caused comedy to change. Sure. Right? So comedy sure. has changed because we had no choice but to change. I hear you there. Now, I hear you there. on your side, when you say it's changed drastically, um, I feel like it's grown, right? Uh, I feel like... The, I think that's... That's the biggest thing that's changed. Okay. It has grown exponentially, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like exponentially, to the point where uh, you know I always preface um, the NBA and the ABA in the '70s, mm -hmm. Major League Baseball in the in the late '70s and '80s, pro football in the '80s. Like pro football now, it's an it's an operation. Mm -hmm. The NBA now is an operation. Major League Baseball is an operation. WWE's kind of followed the same trajectory where it is this massive globally reaching entertainment juggernaut that can show up anywhere mm -hmm. I've been to you know I've we've been to AT&T Stadium in Dallas and I've performed in Afghanistan yeah like and everywhere in between yeah. and uh, I think as as you have more success and especially they cast a, a PG net the program is PG but it also changed from TV 14 to PG mm hmm See, mm -hmm. and it's also a generational product. Like, I'll talk to older folks, and they'll be like, oh, I grew up with Hulk Hogan and Ricky Steamboat and Ric Flair and Macho Man Randy Savage. And then there are people who be like, ah, oh, the Attitude Era was the best with Rock and Steve Austin and DX and The Undertaker. Mm -hmm. And there are folks that grew up watching me, and then there's the current generation that watches the current superstars and, and you know, comments and critiques and appreciates that product. So if it's not your generation, you always romanticize about the performers, the yeah. comics before. I like yeah. Richard Pryor. I like George Carlin. Yeah. I I dig these comics instead of what's what's up there now. I don't I don't understand. Uh, the same can be said for styles of music. You know, I I love hip hop music, but I correlate to like '90s like boom bap style music, mm -hmm. and I just don't understand a lot of the other stuff. But it doesn't mean it's not bad. It's just that I have like kind of my my sweet spot, the this, this stuff that I romanticize about. And as the company grows, it's trying, to, it's trying to gain more of a following. It's trying to gain more of a fan base, a general fan base. So you have to, you have to act accordingly. Is it, it, the, the, the great news is the, I, I feel the, the talent, the performers are better taken care of. They're more professional. They're more understanding. They're not, they're not as wasteful. They're, they're a lot smarter. Yeah. Uh, they're a lot healthier. I mean, uh, that's from seeing the mistakes of others, right? It, it's wisdom.